Hey guys, it's Drew with Huge Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you coins that we got back from CAC Stickering today. Did we do well? Did we do great? Did we do poorly? It'll all be discovered in this video. We hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so we got back some high value coins that we want to show you in this video. Some stickered, some didn't sticker. We sent in a 1928 Hawaiian commemorative half in mint state. We sent in a Saint Godin's $20 gold piece. We sent in a few walkers. We sent in a key date $2.5 Indian. And we also sent in a key date Morgan Dollar 1880cc graded mint state 66 plus by PCGS. So with some submissions, we do poorly. With some submissions, we do great. With some submissions, we do okay. For the past year or so, we've been doing okay and sometimes poorly sometimes we send in coins and none of them sticker sometimes we get a few that sticker and sometimes we have those high value coins that end up stickering for us which makes us very excited because you know when you're wanting to send coins in you're wanting them to pass you're wanting to learn about them and then you're wanting to make some money so you can move the company forward and so in this video we're going to be showing you guys all these coins laying them out for you revealing if they stickered or didn't sticker and we hope you guys enjoy them. Let's take a look at those coins right now. All right, guys, so the first coin we're gonna show you, and if I'm looking at the ground, it's because I'm trying to have a little bit of a grade reveal type of thing for you. It's a 1927, $20 St. Gaudens, great mint state 64. Question is, did it sticker? It's a few kind of abrasions in the left field, as you can see, very nice and light. And as we talked about in previous videos, PCGS and NGC have different opinions of what an accurate or a good for the grade coin might be, right? So this is a C coin, and a C coin is a coin that is not top of its grade, but an okay coin. This is not a great 64, but NGC graded a 64. So when CAC collectors want CAC coins, do they necessarily get the sticker? No. They end up buying many coins to try to get the sticker because they have to put it on there or they buy the coin that is stickered. But since NGC and PCGS have such differing views on what 64 should be and 63 should be and 62 should be and what gems should be, they end up get overgrading most of these coins and CAC never grades or doesn't want to sticker them. So just something for you to think about. So when you're buying certain coins, when people talk about it, should I buy this coin? For $500 more or $700 more just because of a sticker, there are other people out there that want to buy those because of those stickers because most of those coins will never CAC. If you take a look at Delonica and, and Charlotte Gold, most of those coins never CAC. And that's why there's a 30% or 40% increase if a coin stickers. And if a coin doesn't sticker, you can see that really big distance between the values. The next coin I want to show you is this 1928 Hawaiian commemorative half. Really nice luster on the coin, really nice fields, other than a slight hairline in front of the head. Let me see if I can get my handy dandy little clicker penny pen out of here. So there's a few hairlines in front of the head there. And I said to Casey that this wouldn't sticker. And he said, I think it will, so we're going to send it. So he sent the coin in, and will hairlines pass at PCGS for a Mint State 64 Hawaiian Commem? Answer is no, they will not. So you gotta be very careful sometimes what you buy. This is still a really nice coin. It's a C coin for a 64, but it definitely is not a B coin, which is a green sticker, or an A coin, which is a gold sticker, from what I understand. Next coin I wanna show you is this 1942 Walking Liberty Half. So this Walking Liberty half is really, really nice. I like the luster of the coin. I think everything is just screaming on it. If I crack this coin out today, I think it would be a 67. There's one light coin roll and Liberty in the field. But other than that, I don't see a reason why this wouldn't 7 or receive a gold sticker. Do you guys think this coin would gold sticker? Or if it would, or do you think it would 67 at PCGS? Let me know down below. But it green stickered. So, kind of confused on this one. Wish it did a little bit better. I do feel that one is a 67 by today's standards, but maybe it's just not a CAC 67. 
as what they would warrant for a gold sticker. So I just messed this one up. But this is a 1943 Walking Liberty half. It's kind of the same story here. I bought this in the same lot as the 42. And the coin is phenomenal. No issues in the fields whatsoever. Pristine condition. There are a few kind of light hits on the eagle back here. But other than that, I don't understand why this is not a gold sticker. I think this coin is a 7 also. So these might be going to the cracking block for us to think about. Now the big kahunas of this video. So the next coin is an ADCC, which is kind of, it all comes down to this type of thing, which means these get really expensive, especially uh, in 66 plus to 67. And I told our customer slash coin dealer friend that we should send this in and see if it comes back with the sticker because this coin really is close to being flawless, in my opinion, 67 territory. I know that 67 is not flawless, but for being as mark-free as it is, made in 1880 at the Carson City Mint, I do think this coin is really close to a 7. I recommended that this one possibly should be, uh, you know, there's certain dealers out there that know if this coin should be a 67 or not, so I told them to go speak to people that are professionals in the field and see if this one might be a 67 one day, because this is a $20,000 coin in 7. So congratulations to him. It's a really good 66 plus, and if anything, it might come back a seven one day, but I know that I'm not the guy for that, and we're not the company for that. So the last coin I wanna show you, which is the biggest win, is this 1911D, strong D, great XF45. It received the sticker. The population, or how many were minted, or just over 55,000 for this coin, it did sticker. And this adds tremendous value to this coin, and that's why I'm so happy I'm able to share it with you guys. I don't think this one is going to be up for sale anytime soon. It's got really gorgeous toning on the coin, and I don't know. I'm in love with it. I think the true views are incredible also. I hope you guys enjoyed them in the thumbnail of this video, but thank you guys for taking a look at all of these coins that we got back from CAC. We hope you've enjoyed them. So quite a successful submission for sure. Those high-end coins that it stickered really did add a lot of value for us, and we're just excited that such unique coins ended up stickering. Sometimes you get the most common coins that sticker, and sometimes you get the most high-end coins that don't sticker, so it's good to have those flipped, but we also are sending coins into CAC stickering again this week, and we're also sending coins into CAC G this week, um, just to see what their thoughts are on those coins, and let's show you guys these coins. First with CAC stickering, so this is a 1954S, Franklin half dollar, Great Men's State 65. This is just a little fun coin to send in, nothing too crazy, but who knows what will happen with it. There's one coin roll on the reverse that holds it back probably from a gold CAC, but people still like these, especially with a sticker. Up next is uh, another Franklin half dollar. It's great, Mint State 66 from 1957. Has really nice mint set toning on both sides of the coin. Luster is really nice and intact also. A few little light hits here and there, but just a really gorgeous coin. Next one I wanna show you is this 1875CC. It's a great AU50. Kinda of hard to pick up on here, but nice original look to the coin for sure. I'm trying to learn a little bit more about seated stuff and seeing how they graded, especially in AU. The luster is not super out of this world, but it is graded AU50 and nothing higher. It would be good to get a sticker on these coins because they would definitely add a little bit more value to the Carson City. The Carson City coins do have a lot more value when you add uh, that sticker to them. Here's a 75cc, an AU55. Definitely some more detail, more luster. And uh, I like this coin a lot. If it does sticker, I'd love to throw it in the PC, but who knows if that'll ever happen. Next is CAC G. CAC G is basically, we're trying to cross some coins over that have already been stickered. And this one's a 1914S. Great Men's State 62. The holder's really scratched up on both sides and you get it repaired or get it reholdered and then in a new sticker, it would cost more money than just getting it crossed over to CAC G. So wanted to definitely get this one crossed over. It's a nice coin. 
It's just, uh, and it's a little bit of a tougher date. We'll see how it goes though with them. Everything should go cross for cross. So if it's been stickered before, that means um, it, they're just gonna accept it and they're gonna cross it over without asking too many questions. I know people have been sending stuff in without a sticker and they've been getting downgrades. So it's just a wild west over there at CAC G. But a really nice high grade Lincoln scent. Graded 67 red. We have another Lincoln scent here also. This is a 1944D. Graded 67 plus red. And we feel like the money that we put out to put these in a new holder would, would be a little bit less than the value that they would add. The next coin I want to show you is this 14S that we showed off in a recent video. It would be good to get this coin in a CAC G graded slab just because it adds a little bit more value than the NGC slab, and that's what a lot of dealers are focusing on right now. Next coin I want to show you, which is a new purchase, is this 1942 um, Walking Liberty Half. Phenomenal luster, really nice fields, just a gorgeous coin overall. And if I could buy coins like this all day long, I would for sure. Here's a one that a little oopsie that we uh, sent in recently. This is a 1912 Barber Half. Environmental damage on the obverse, and uh, it's okay. I thought it would come back with like you know it looked pretty original to me, but I guess it just sat somewhere too long, and now they uh, they threw the environmental damage on it just because you can see this black kind of circling the rim, almost filling in, and it's kind of impairing the. Pairing the fields on the coin. Up next is this 78cc Morgan Dollar graded VF25. Just a little bit of a better date coin that's more affordable. Up next is this 1863 seated half. It's great AU53. Nice luster of the coin still. It's a pretty tough date. You know, Civil War date type coins are. A very tough, especially from the New Orleans Mint. And we have this 1856O, great AU55. Luster still intact on this one also. Just a gorgeous piece of history. And once again, another group of coins that I love to buy all day long. And the last coin I want to show you is this first year, 1892, Barber Half. Great Mint State 63 by PCGS. Really problem free surfaces. It's a little darker than I really want, but that's okay. It is all there for sure. Thank you guys for letting us show you all these wonderful coins. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins that you saw today. They'll all be available. So, frick. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins that we shared today. Do you think that they were accurately stickered by CEC? And also subscribe because more videos are coming out every single week. And we want you guys to be a part. Make sure to also check out our online coin shop. Some of these coins will be up there for you today. And we'll have hundreds of other listings available also. But we'll see you guys in the next video.